Hello and welcome back to the Movie Memo Recaps. Today we are going to recap a 2015 movie named Wild Card starring Jason Statham. Keep alert spoilers incoming. The movie starts in Las Vegas at a club where Nick Wilde is having a drink. Shortly a woman named Doris enters and seems to capture his attention as she moves to her table. Suddenly another man named Osgood arrives at the club and has a date with Doris who arrived earlier. Surprisingly Nick approaches them and requests Doris to dance with him. He starts to mock Osgood and pull off his wig but Doris drags Osgood outside to save him from getting beaten. Nick keeps on the mockery though Osgood tells Doris that he can handle Nick even when he seems old to fight. Osgood suddenly goes to pick his wig from Nick and warn him before punching him to fall down which impresses Doris. He forces him to ask for forgiveness which Nick does and Doris runs out of the car to embrace Osgood calling him her hero. The scene jumps to a woman who gets dumped at a hospital and when one doctor moves out to smoke he notices her. The medical team attends to her and try to ask what happened to her but all she says is Nick's name. In the morning Nick a Las Vegas bodyguard with lethal professional skills and a personal gambling problem wakes up to move to his workplace. Shortly a young gentleman named Cyrus Kinnick moves in looking for him. He informs Nick that he would like to hire him as a tour guide during his visit in Las Vegas as he was recommended to him by his neighbor. Being interested in gambling Cyrus informs him that he would like to have his services because some people might disrespect him because of his age. Nick accepts his proposition to show him around Vegas and provide him with protection while he gambles. Later on Nick meets with Osgood and it is revealed that they are close friends and about the fight it was a stunt to impress the woman. Osgood pays him a $500 with a bonus of $500 after his impression but Nick declines the bonus. Nick later moves to a diner where he tells his waitress friend named Roxy that he needs $500,000 to leave Las Vegas and move into a five years retirement in Corsica. She hands him a message from a woman named Holly who wants him to stop by her house. Upon reaching her house Holly who happens to be the woman dumped at the hospital moves out to hug him. Holly a professional escort informs him what happened to her the previous night at a hotel named Golden Nugget. She met three unknown men in an elevator who forced her to go with them to their room. The one that seemed to be the boss raped her first before the other two men had their chance Oswell and later dumped her outside the hospital. She offers Nick $100 for the first hour to help her find out who they are so that she sues them. Nick informs her that she should contact a lawyer or a detective but Holly wonders how he can fail to help her. Having been at Golden Nugget Nick informs her that there is organized crime at that hotel and remind her that he warned her to stay away from it. It is revealed that the owner of the hotel named Baby tried to recruit Nick to work for him, but he declined and the two agreed not to interfere in each other's business. Nick goes to a housekeeper named Millicent for information about the man and the two decide to meet afterwards. She informs him that the man is called Danny DeMarco's son to a mob boss in southern Italy and give him the room address. She requests him not to interfere with Danny. Afterwards Nick calls Holly to inform her that he didn't get any information from the housekeeper he met. Holly realizes that he is hiding some information and remind him how much she was there for him and asked him to be there for her as well. At night Nick meets Cyrus for the tour and guide him through various places checking out different casinos though Nick is in deep thoughts about Holly. Most places being crowded Nick takes him to his favorite place where Cyrus tries to know more about him, but he ignores it. Cyrus moves to the gambling table as Nick wait but gets a lot of thoughts from Holly's last words. This forces him to leave Cyrus at the casino and move to Holly's house and tell her the name of the man. Nick realizes that she is not interested in taking them to the lawsuits hence Holly revealing that she wants revenge after what she went through. She wants Nick to go and attack them and afterwards grant her chance to take her revenge after weakening them. Nick drives to Golden Nugget to confront Danny disguising as sent by Baby. Danny's bodyguards open for him and lead him to Danny but confirm they checked him well. Nick questions him about what happened to Holly and being an arrogant person Danny informs him that she is a whore. He mistakes Nick to be a pimp but Nick shows him his credit card to prove him he is not. Nick requests to leave but Danny informs him that it wouldn't be that easy to leave without him teaching him a lesson. Danny tasks him to please him so that he spares him to leave but Nick fails hence ordering his men to teach him a lesson. A fight breaks out and Nick hits Danny's men defending himself using his credit card. Danny tries to shoot him but he dodges the bullets and hit him down and tie them all. He invites Holly who asks Danny if he remembers her. 
when she gets scissors danny gets scared and inform her to take fifty thousand dollars from his safe and leave holly hands the money to nick and move on to contemplate castrating danny informing him to ask for forgiveness looking at how serious holly is danny breaks down and beg for her forgiveness hence pardoning him but leave with the money upon moving out nick informs holly to leave the town because they would be coming for them they divide the fifty thousand dollars halfway and nick proceeds to a casino he starts to play blackjack with his dealer friend named cassandra though nick feels like it's his lucky night he goes on to win the first bet and keeps on a huge winning streak not until when the dealer's shift changes upon changing cassandra nick quits playing and move away to meet cyrus suddenly he feels that his luck is still on and decide to go back to the gambling table and raise his stake oswell he goes on a huge winning streak which attracts the pit boss and other audiences his winning streak moves him to over five hundred thousand dollars and continue for a last time which he also wins he goes for a drink with cyrus who asks him about his next plan and nick informs him that he plans going for retirement he stands to go to the cashier for cash out but suddenly gets an anxiety attack he feels like the five hundred thousand dollars is so less and decide to go gamble again thinking his luck is still on he places his whole five hundred thousand dollars and the twenty five thousand dollar he got from holly at once unluckily he loses the bet which leaves him shocked he resorts to drinking as he is depressed with a lot of thoughts and regrets not until when he loses consciousness the following day he wakes up only to find cyrus who informs him that he passed out and the staff helped him out after cyrus tipped them cyrus reveals to him that he wants his help to mentor him on how to be brave and how to fight it is revealed that cyrus is a self-made millionaire who promises to make nick rich in exchange for his services nick declines the offer and moved downstairs to get a drink shortly danny's men arrive to deliver him to danny and a fight breaks out in the bar nick savagely beat the men since he has gotten chance to take out his anger while dispatching them the police arrives to intervene he gets driven to golden nugget to meet baby the mafia boss of las vegas baby informs him that he received a complaint about him breaking into one room and killed two men and the witness happens to be danny baby leads him to meet danny so that they solve the matter danny explains how ruthlessly nick attacked them and hit them before killing his bodyguards nick tells his side of the story and it is revealed that he doesn't kill using guns which means danny is framing him nick informs them about two cuts on danny's manhood which prompts baby to tell danny to drop his pants to prove nick wrong danny refuses which makes baby realize that nick attacked them because of a reason and convince danny that he would handle the situation when danny leaves baby informs nick that they would come for him but he confirms it to him that he didn't kill danny's bodyguards later on he drives to the diner for a meal and while sitting cyrus is besides him he tells him that he is afraid of leaving las vegas because he is a coward he thanks him for what he learned from him and gift him five hundred thousand dollars and a plane ticket to corsica suddenly danny's men arrive at the diner but cyrus creates a distraction by singing which gives nick chance to escape the men go after him outside and danny orders them all to look for him everywhere though he is up listening to them he moves down to engage them as he holds only utensils from the dinner after killing them all cyrus approaches him to hand him the five hundred thousand dollar check and the plane ticket to corsica nick first refuses but after persistence from cyrus he takes them and decides to leave las vegas before danny's father avenges on him bringing the movie to the end thanks for watching if you are new don't forget to subscribe for more of these recaps until next time have a nice day